Fashion Week is always full of surprises in all shapes and sizes, but for Caperni Springs Summer 2022 Paris Fashion Week debut, guests were transported to the year 2033. And I can tell you firsthand that the future is bright, but also fun. Sharing a much needed ray of light after a dreary past year and a half, my dear friends Sebastian Meyer and Arnaud Valiant have more to celebrate than the launch of their new vibrant collection. Not only are they turning their co-founded Parisian brand into a cult favorite among young girls around the globe, but they have managed to find the time to become newlyweds this past August, a definite highlight of 2021. Sebastian and Arnaud first met in 2009 when they joined forces in the realm of design, each bringing their own impressive experiences from the likes of Chanel and Balenciaga to the table. Only four years later, Caperni was born in 2013, gaining fast attention and winning well-respected prizes such as the Andam Creative Label Prize in 2014 and becoming a finalist for the LVMH Prize in 2015. This season was a clear display of just how much Caperni has beautifully evolved over the years. A symbolic picture of what we hope the future will look like, filled with hope, wonder, dreams, and some fun, was a stark contrast to their autumn winter 2021 presentation, which exuded mystery and darkness. For this collection, the runway was graced with luscious amounts of very fragrant hemp plants, which served as a metaphor for growth, well-being, and health. Psychedelic prints and funky cartoon sketches complemented slinky, playful silhouettes in a successful attempt to lighten the mood and open the door of fantasy and escape. The perfect wardrobe for any daydreamer out there. Caperni's collection taught us that thinking futuristically doesn't always have to center on advancement in technology or science, but if approached in the right light, can help us focus on how we want to see ourselves living in the future, filled with hope, well-being, and always maintaining a sense of playfulness and a tendency to daydream. As long as 2033 looks like this, I think I'll be fine. I'm Julie Gilhart, and this is Julie's Pick.